Would you say to other kids if they think they're getting a horse that perhaps a Welsh is a good one to get? Very good. What do you think's good about them? Because they're quiet and they don't do anything wrong. Now, Nicole, you're living proof that a bigger person can get onto a smallish Welsh without any problems. Yeah, oh, he does it easily. He's really good, yeah. Basically, it looks like you washed it and it shrunk. <laughs> no, yeah, no. He's, most of them are pretty small, like the A's. What are the things you most love about them? Oh, they're just so cute and they're always well behaved and they just do pretty much whatever you want them to do. Who painted his toes? Mum. <laughs> Good on you, Mum. There's a lot of work to cleaning them, isn't there? Yeah. If you were buying, say, the first pony, a Welsh pony for the kids, what would you be looking for? Um, I'd look for a slightly older pony that uh, had a bit of experience. Now, obviously, what we've seen today is the most wonderful temperament. Oh, yes. But, but there's no breed of horses in the world where you don't get some problems. What sort of problems are you looking for in t terms of temperament? They have to be tolerant. Tegan, you're involved in riding a Welsh pony? Uh, I do a harness driving with the riding for the disabled. Do you mind me asking sort of what level of disability you've got? Um, yeah, I've got uh, a lot of fractures to the um, left side of my body, leg, pelvis, uh, spinal and head injuries. Goodness. So you were involved in an accident? Yeah, I was in a car accident, yeah. Uh, obviously, if the horses were problematic, it would be fairly dangerous for you. Yes, yeah, it would be. I presume the logic is with the little e, start off with the A, and as they get bigger... Yeah, they can uh, graduate to the B, and then the C, and then the D. Now the Welsh pony, I mean obviously you wouldn't have to be a genius to work out that it comes from Wales. Yes, they were developed, they evolved on the hills of Wales uh, over the centuries they've grown there. And that's why they're so hardy, because they've had to live in the uh, hard conditions of winter on the, on the hills. And, and therefore, they, with all those uses in the hills, you needed to have a range of sizes. Yes. So this is your smallest size? Yes, this is the Section A, the Welsh Mountain Pony, right. and it doesn't grow over 12 hands in height. I suppose we should point out too, good strong bone, good, strong these are nuggety bone. little things, aren't yes, they? Yes, right. yes. This is the Section B, this is yeah. the Welsh Pony. It uh, has the same pony qualities, but it's got more ridden pony uh, qualities right. and makes an ideal uh, ridden or show pony. This is section C, that's the Welsh pony of cob type. Yep. And it has this, all the pony qualities of the A and B, but it's got the infusion of cob blood, so it gives it that uh, heavier Wh Which look. begs the question, we should mention what a cob is. Well, that, that's our next breed. The cob doesn't have, have a, a height limit. They usually grow f to 14, 15, two hands, but right. they, they can go to any height. And as you can see, they're a much bigger, stronger animal. They have the lovely feather on the feet and yep. uh, Beautiful, big, moving animals. When you see yeah. them going in full flight, it's a magnificent sight. Very powerful yes, skeleton, powerful. big yes, bones, yes, all that. Yes. Now we did see you fall off before. Yeah. Yeah. How, how come you fell off? Um, the other girl was galloping, and she wasn't meant to be. Oh, it was the other girl's fault. Yeah. Well, that makes sense to me. What's the name of your horse, Paris? Ashley. Ashley. That's a good name for a horse. Oh, hello, Ashley. How are you? So he's happy to have a ride with you. He doesn't, doesn't hate people or hate being ridden. That's very good. You're a good horse, aren't you, Ashley? Yes. And he likes crossing his legs. Does he likes crossing his legs? He, he always does that. <laughs> Maybe he thinks he's a person. <laughs> well, oh, I said it. He's a circus horse. Uh, oh, oh cool. a trick horse, a special trick horse. Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. He likes Fanta and Coke. <laughs> <laughs> and he likes hot dogs. But, but for all the boys and girls at home, we should point out that you really shouldn't give your horsey hot dogs, should you? <laughs> it's a little bit naughty. <laughs> little bit. But he likes them, I love too. Oh. <laughs> I give up. <laughs>